Baada ya upande wa mashtaka kuhitimisha ushahidi wake, leo imekuwa zamu ya mshikiwa Naftali Njahi Kinudhia kujitetea. That the statements I shall give is the truth and nothing but the truth. Hii ni mara ya kwanza kwa Kinudhia kujieleza hadharani tangu wa kamato ya mwaka 2019 kwa tuhuma za kumuua Ivy Wangeshi aliyekuwa mwanafunzi wa utabibu katika chuo kikuu cha Moi Eldoret. Mtuhumiwa alianza kwa kutoa historia ndefu kutoka mwaka 1998 walipoishi na hata kusoma katika shule ya msingi na marehemu katika eneo la Gatanga Mranga licha ya kuwa maswahibu wa muda mrefu Kinudhi alieleza kuwa walianza uhusiano wa kimapenzi mwaka 2017 By that time uh, we were already very deep in uh, an intimate relationship with no doubt and uh, I was I was very heavily emotionally attached to her. Kitumbua cha penzi kilipoingia mchanga mwaka 2018 walikosana na kurudiana mara sio moja. Mambo ile haribika zaidi ya Aprili 2019 siku chache kabla ya Ivy kusherekea siku ya kuzaliwa ya Aprili 10. Kinudhi anadai kwamba Wangesha alitaka kumshirikisha katika maandalizi ya sherehe yake na aliridhia kugaramika kwa kutuma shilingi 1014 na kuahidi kutafuta kiasi sawa na hicho kabla ya siku ya sherehe. Oh, she asked me if, if I could support her with the funds and uh, I accepted. Mambo ilienda mrama na marehemu alizuia simu zake. Kinudhi alijipeleka Eldoret kwa nia kutafuta mwafaka lakini hakufua dafu. Alirudi Nairobi na kurejea tena Aprili tisa asubuhi na kufululiza hadi chuo cha Moi na kwa sadfa alimuona Ivy. Anadai baada ya Ivy kuweka bayana kwamba penzi lao limeisha, alimshambulia kwa shoka analosema alinunua kwa ajili ya usalama wake Julai mwaka 2018. Didn't know what I was doing. Never had the intention to attack Ivy in the first place. So I never had the intention to attack him. Hivyo mshukiwa ambaye alimpoteza babake mzazi mwezi jana alikuwa na ujumbe huu akijutia kitendo chake. Okay, after thinking about it and reflecting I knew it would not have happened. And there were many ways to get around this situation without causing the death of an innocent person. Hiyo itaendelea kusikizwa tarehe 25 mwezi ujao. Timothy Simwaruninga K24 Samoja